What's up guys? Do I look happy? I'm not. <laughs> you ever uh, try to button something up, try to make something just to make sure it's just a little better, <clears throat> and then end up making it worse? Yeah, so I was going through making sure all lines were tight, everything like that, and uh, yeah. See that? Awesome. Yep. She broke. <sighs> That's a little upsetting. Kind of hurts the feelers a little bit, but we'll message Twisted Motion first, see if we can get a replacement. <clears throat> Hopefully that can happen. If not, I suppose we'll run and uh, try to find a new one tomorrow. But yeah, that really busts my chaps. Really sucks. But it is what it is. So, anyways, while well, I'm dealing with that, just message Twist in Motion. We'll see if I can get a thread pitch, see if they'll replace it. Um, I asked for a thread pitch. Hopefully, I can just run to the store and pick one up and be done with it. But uh, today, I want to talk about the top five things I've purchased from eBay getting a knockoff brand for this car that I am really happy with and have been tested and I love. So let's go ahead and let's uh, start with number five. Number five thing I'm happy with I got on eBay. I actually uh, got it for Christmas but I found it and showed her where it was. Uh, Twisted Motion, same person that makes that boost controller uh, I'm having an issue with. Not their fault, my fault. Uh, they make this uh, uh, Hydro, not this handle, this is a Quanbeck uh, handle, but they make this uh, Hydro and it's way cheaper than anyone else. Um, they use a Willwood master cylinder um, and they make their own bracket and everything <clears throat> for the handle. Um, but it works really, really well. I think it came out to like 150 bucks shipped. So that is one of the purchases I'm really happy with. This is a, uh, they have a master cylinder setup and an inline setup, and this is inline. Um, I was having some issues at first, uh, but it wasn't the uh, uh, fault of the hydro. It was actually just the stock calipers and uh, some crappy pads, but uh, we did uh, put some Project Mew. D1 style pads on and they grip really hard and they work fantastic. So one of the things I love on eBay that I got for this drift car <clears throat> is this Twisted Motion Hydro Handle or Hydro Setup. Uh, I kind of just noticed while doing this a lot of the things I really love come from inside this uh, inside the cabin. Um, but we'll do we'll start with our fourth thing that I really love about this car uh, that I got from eBay. Um, it's working fantastic is like I was saying a lot of these swap cars the uh, speedometer doesn't work mine doesn't work Jake doesn't work I know a few other people that don't work Jake uses his phone and I don't mind that um, it's just I like to have my phone I don't really want to have my phone sitting on my dash or anything like that um, not because I don't want the phone on the dash you know I, I, I would just much rather have the phone in my pocket or sitting on the side um, but I actually got this GPS speedometer on eBay and it works really really good and how I have it set up you know it's uh, some velcro sitting over the speedometer and I got the wire run in the dash or inside the dash here and it runs through here and it's uh, in behind the cigarette lighter and uh, spliced into there so it's constantly charging constantly on um, it doesn't really get a GPS signal in here inside and it'll just flash like that but it works really well that way and um, I enjoy it a whole lot more on my phone it's very accurate uh, I think I got it for like five dollars super cheap but I love it now something I was actually really skeptical on I wanted to get a, a good I really wanted to know it was accurate um, and I did a lot of reviews on them, <clears throat> and I love them, is these WB um, Boost and Wideband 
Um, this comes, you know, you can set it up for E85, um, race gas, or anything like that. And there's a button on the back you can change the settings for. And the boost controller, I mean, I, 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 when I ordered them, I didn't mean to order two different color faces, but it is what it is. But both of them, you know, they're bright, they look good. Um, and I'm stoked with them. And the warranty on them, I actually had an issue with the O2 sensor not too much longer, a uh, few months after I got this. But WB actually, I messaged them and um, they hit me back and they got me a new O2 sensor. So I was really stoked on that. And they were actually, I won't say they were the cheapest boost in wideband on eBay, but they were the cheapest better brand if that makes sense um and, and, and you know it's not a, rep, a super reputable brand but uh they work really really well i like them very very much and i think the wideband was i want to say it was like 110 dollars. i'm going to put all the links to everything down below um so i don't know what the price is right now off the top of my head but it was very cheap compared to every other one and same thing with the boost gauge love them super happy with them so I'm gonna count that as one so there's my three thing three things as of now um, just actually right here inside the cabin um, that I love about uh, my eBay products bonus ad I just forgot I actually seen coming out um, my gauge pod holder and the cup holder I have here in the center both of those came from eBay from a buyer I found and he actually 3d prints these i um, not going to put that as, you know, the things I'm absolutely in love with. Uh, but this fits really tight and nice. It fits the gauges really nice. And the cup holder fits all right. Uh, I didn't paint them, but I don't know. I just kind of like that purplish color. A couple things under here I really love about uh, some cheap things that I got. Things. <laughs> some cheap things that I got off eBay. Um that work really well for me. I'm just going to do a couple of them all in one. Um, all these white hoses here, all these white lines, that one was white. I don't know. It's just turned to the color. Um, then that one there behind the shield. Um, I actually got all those. Those were, uh, it was a mistake on eBay's part. It's usually like $62 or something like that. 160 maybe. Uh, for all of the coolant lines and vacuum and everything like that. Uh, one time I was cruising eBay and I actually found the whole pack for $2. Now, I could pick any color I wanted. Um, I picked pink. They messaged me and they said they don't have pink. I honestly, when I ordered it, I expected them to, to refund me the $2 knowing that it was a mistake. But they kept up with it and they let me pick another color. I picked white terrible choice don't go with white uh, but I picked white and they shipped them I got all those for two dollars on eBay and I told everyone I knew at that time when I ordered them so when I find deals like that make sure you follow the my snapchat and Instagram and I'll let you guys always know when I find something like that um, that I like cheap eBay stuff well some people are maybe wondering if I'm gonna talk about the intercooler piping is something I love no I don't um, the welds were terrible. I actually had them weld that, and there was another uh, piece right here where it meets the where it reduces down for the turbo that had to be rewelded. So I would not recommend the turbo piping. Uh, it was a mistake I made. I ended up spending more for less. So not something I'm happy with. Um, something we did talk about on the channel that I did like. Um, this is a cheap eBay uh, map, and I got one in a pinch. Um, I thought mine had went bad when I was at the track, and I just wanted to get something super cheap and right now. So I ordered that on eBay. Had no idea if it was going to work. I've had it on for a year and a half, year now, and it works fantastic. You know, you've guys seen the AFRs, so you've watched the tuning video. Um, I did with the just some street stuff just to dial in the boost controller um, but it works really really well and I really, really I'm, I'm really happy with it and I really like that um, fuel pressure regulator is not something I would recommend 
Something I got cheap. I shouldn't have got cheap. It is what it is. We'll move on and we'll live another day. Um, Megan Radiator. Megan, Megan, however you guys want to talk. That's a good radiator. The car stays cool and it works really nice. Um, catch can. I did get, it, it is baffled. I would recommend getting a baffled one. Um, but that catch can I got and it, you know, it works pretty well. Uh, Brittany got me this uh, header and that works uh, pretty well. I like that. Um, one of my favorite pieces under this engine bay here is my heat shield. I made myself and you know when Kyra loves to help and I, I, I got that done. She did that two years ago. I think she was two years old when we did that and you know it's one of my favorite pieces on the car. And I love it very, very much. Now, there's a few other things under the engine bay here um, that I like. Uh, you can get off eBay. I didn't. Uh, let's talk about some stuff you can get on eBay. Um, but I just wanted some better customer service when I got it. I got a Circuit Sports uh, oil, re uh, oil filter relocation. Again, could have got off eBay. I didn't just for the support. Uh, Flexalite uh, fans, electric fans. Could have got off of eBay. I didn't just for the support. That stuff's all from FR Sport or in Juku. Um, the RJ Racing harnesses. Um, you can get off eBay. I did get mine off eBay. I'm not going to call this an eBay part though. Um, it was just a summit online that um, I got that from. But my fifth thing um, that I like that I got from eBay um, that works really, really well is my lug nuts now um a lot of people wouldn't recommend ebay lug nuts i wouldn't recommend ebay lug nuts um but i did do my research and Brittany did her research because Brittany got me these for christmas one year um don't buy aluminum uh lug nuts uh you're i mean you're going on and off with a drift car a lot and they're just gonna swell they're gonna strip out they're really gonna tick you off and you know they might not hold up um, at the track these are a steel neochrome extended lug um and i've had them for shoot four years now when i got the car so three years almost four uh we'll call it four um and i've had these on ever since i got it right away uh we swapped out the ugly lug nuts these were the lug nuts that came with it you know, just some Gorilla ones. But we swapped those out uh, with these. I've had them, you know, I've had wheels on and off. You guys have seen on the channel, I've had them on and off a lot. Um, and they, they hold up really well. And I'm really happy for some eBay steel lug nuts. So, but kind of a different video today. Um, that really ticked me off. I really wish I didn't do that. Hopefully I can find one at the... Uh, uh, Napa or Bomb Guards. Bomb Guards has a whole aisle of fittings and bolts and everything like that. So I'm really hoping they have one. Uh, that would really make my day if they did have one. But anyways, till next time guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Share with your friends. Keep on sliding.